This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Well, tonight the Clay County Senior League softball team will take the field in Delaware for their first game at the World Series. The Manchester-based Kentucky team is representing the Central Region in Pool B. The girls will play the West Region representative Garden City out of Montana. First pitch is at 8 o'clock Eastern time. And of course, we'll have results tonight at 11. Devin Booker back in Lexington this weekend, helping out at the John Calipari shooting camp. The book made the all-rookie team this past season with the Phoenix Suns. And by the way, if you don't remember, he was the youngest player in the league at just 19 years old, but saw a ton of playing time. Some of that had to do with injuries, but he also stroked it, averaging 14 points per game. And the experience, he says, made him grow up. Yeah, definitely, especially when Eric and Brandon uh, went down with the injuries. Um, put more pressure on me, the ball is in my hand more. But, you know, I think, I think this rookie year is going to shape the rest of my career in a positive way because I don't think, you know, it'll ever be like that again where, you know, a 19-year-old has the ball in, the game, ball in his hands the whole game. So, but, you know, like I said, you know, it was good for me. You know, I got to deal with the pressure of being that main target. So, you know, hopefully down the line I'm still going to have that same attention on me. Booker's teammate and BFF Tyler Ulis also making a return to the Bluegrass. Yesterday he was in Prestonsburg for his mini autograph tour. He told me he still keeps in touch with the guys who are at Kentucky. He also made sure to watch his former teammates during his time in the Las Vegas Summer League. Yeah, me and Isaiah, we definitely keep in touch because, you know, you know, we're really close, so we have group chats and stuff like that. And Jamal, I talked to him often, Scal, you know, I made sure I saw most of the games that I could see when I was there. Uh, just made sure I see what they did. I feel like they did pretty well as, as well. It was a lot of fun getting to play with those guys, getting to bond with those, you know, new players, uh, me, Al, Marquise, Troy, even the guys who uh, didn't even get drafted with us. Uh, it was a lot of fun just, you know, hanging around those guys and playing with them. He'll be in London this Wednesday. Well, the last few years have been a bit of a roller coaster ride for Sheldon Clark, and this season the Cardinals are hoping for a few more ups than downs. Josh McKinney takes us to Inez as we continue our 40 teams in 20 days series. Stability is something Sheldon Clark has not had in recent years, but that is something new head coach Chester McCoy is hoping to change. Well, I mean, there's some negativity, of course, uh, surrounding the entire program. That's, uh, that's that's the first thing you gotta you gotta get to. You gotta you gotta get help these guys to understand that uh, you know we're gonna go in a positive manner. We're gonna work hard. We're gonna we're gonna improve. Uh, you know, we're gonna try to build this program back to, to what it was several years ago, as as far as uh, the respectability throughout the area and the, even within the state of Kentucky. McCoy is the Cardinals' third coach in three years, and his view of success is not necessarily dependent on the scoreboard. I'll know if we're successful or not just due by the fact of the type of young men I'm turning out here. Uh, if they're upstanding citizens and they're respectful to their elders, the females, or whatever it may be in whatever situation, then we've been successful. Uh, we win four or five games in the process. It's a great thing. The players, though, are hoping for more wins in 2016. I'm hoping they're surprised at how we've done this year and think differently about how they've thought of us before. Especially when it comes to former district rival Lawrence County, a team the Cardinals have lost to five straight times. Well, it's always a good game, and then just something happens in the end and we can't pull all the way through it. I just like to leave on a high note with that. Finally, finally get that win. In Inez, Josh McKinney, WYMT Mountain Sports. And Shutter Clark opens its season on August 19th at Paintsville in what will be McCoy's first game on the sideline since coaching McGoffin County in 2012. That's sports, and we will be back.